Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are in Lorette de Mar. We actually got here yesterday. We got here about 8 o'clock. Oh my god, yesterday. It was the longest day of travelling ever. We genuinely set off for Birmingham Airport at 7am and we got here at maybe half past 8. So we just went for tea last night, walked down to the beach just to see what it looked like and then went to bed. Like we was in bed by 10. It was just a long day. Also, I think I've got an ear infection. I don't want to talk about it. Honestly, I was in so much pain yesterday. It's actually feeling a little bit better today. But yesterday was so, so bad. So fingers crossed it starts to feel a little bit better soon. But yeah, this is our hotel. We've got a lovely little balcony. We have a nice view of like a different pool. This isn't ours, but it's very cute. And then this is the inside of our room. So it's called like an aquarium and spa. Hence like the ship vibe. I've actually got up this morning and hung everything up. I actually feel so prepared. So I had everything out this morning. And then this is the bathroom, which I think is amazing. Like it's massive. Literally such a big bathroom. So yeah, it's brilliant. I'm not sure what we're doing today. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna head down to breakfast. I'll take my camera with me. Hopefully I can show you what breakfast looks like. Obviously I don't know either, so it'll be fun to see. But yeah, once I know what I'm doing, obviously I'll tell you anyway, but I will show you at breakfast. Breakfast is big. We've got, oh, oh yes please. Oh, look how many different pastries there are. That chocolate one is calling my name. That looks so good. Is he a pan of raisin? Oh, I love a pan of raisin. Yes, please. It's like salad, but I think salad for breakfast is so weird. But I'm going to get some fruit salad. Oh, my God. I love a bit of fruit in the morning. This looks so good. I actually don't think you can beat a good fruit salad on holiday, but I try and get, like, as many cherries as possible. Josh just spotted a big Nutella dispenser, apparently. So we are heading over there. Oh, my God. <gasps> if I had some, oh, oh. I'll show you. Thing ever. <laughs> wow! I went to get some cereal, but no one can tell me otherwise. This is the best holiday cereal. It is so good. Breakfast was so so good. It really hit the spot. We are now going to go up to the castle. There's like a castle near the beach. I don't know like how it is to get to the top or like really how far away it is at all, but we're just gonna go there because it's a bit cloudy this morning. It's meant to brighten up later on this afternoon. So we're gonna go do that this morning and then come back and chill around the pool. We are on our way to the castle. It's somewhere around here where all these trees are. It's somewhere within that mountain. This is the beach. The sun's come out as well now, so it's like a lot brighter and it's really, really warm. I think we are walking up to the castle. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the way. They're already up there. But yeah, getting the cardio in for the day. Oh my God, I'm sweating. This is so pretty. Look at that massive rock down there. It's huge. And then I think this is where the castle is. We've got more steps to go. We've just come from there. We come down like this little walkway. And there's any little cactuses just on the side of the mountain. This is so cute. <gasps> this is so good. And we've got further down to go. We do. Oh, I wonder what it looks like from the end. This is crazy. <gasps> Look at that. Can't believe how far we've come down. My dad's over there. Hello. So, we've just come from down there. And we have been cut off. So I think we're going to have to go the other way to the castle. Obviously, it's not a problem. Would have been nice to be able to say that we did it there. We walked up all that bit. But it is what it is. It's fine. So we're going to have a wander down here. And just see what's going on and then head back. This is unbelievable. We've just come in. It dates back to 1079. Nearly, well not nearly, but like coming up to a thousand years. That is unbelievable. This is so pretty. We had to pay something like three euros to come in, but I don't think that's bad at all. When you've walked all the way up here, you are paying at a pay twinning. Yeah, Rose. But yeah, this is what's called St. Joan Castle. Oh my god, in the 14th century it was completely ruined by lightning. And then reconstructed again by photographs, oh, doesn't it? it? It's actually higher than what I thought we were going to be. You see, the see so far. Castle I think you can way. see all the lanes. It said. I don't know if that's there. We went through that yesterday when we was on our way. Yeah. And then I'm assuming you'll be able to see the beach, don't you? No, no, actually. But that's where we walked down to begin with, around there. There was only. 80 steps coming up, so it really wasn't that bad actually. The one we've done recently, well the one that we did in Geneva was like 200 or something. Yeah. Just talking about, I've done things like this recently, but not, it's not been, like, this was so easy compared, it's not been half as bad. The other ones that I've been doing are like being like 300 steps. 
So when we got to the top and it was 80, I was very thankful because I feel like we've done a lot of steps already today. I'd love to do that. Can you see that? A total wipeout. I'd love. Have you done it before? I've done it. Yeah. I've never done it before. I think I'd be absolutely. Can you see it? It's a bit blurry. I'd love to get and do that. I think that'd be so fun. Can you see? There's a guy paddle boarding. That is so risky. It's proper like choppy as well. Where is he? I've lost him. There he is. Can you see him? He's right in the middle of the sea, and the waves are like pushing. To be fair, the waves are pushing him towards land, which is good. But. That is risky business. This is so cute. This is amazing to come and sit and have a drink. But we are on a trek to the other side. There's like another beach we want to go see and Josh wants to see this little statue over here. We made it to the statue. We're just saying it's a shame somebody's had to go and ruin it. Oh, it's gold. Lucky. Lucky parts. This is Lorette de Mar Beach. So now we're going to go and have a wander across this. Even though it seems really windy, it's actually really warm. So it's really nice weather. Oh, and it's hard. I don't think I can reach. Uh, uh, I can't reach it! Yes! So, these are something like race drivers, not 100% sure, but they've all come and like put their hands on. Carlos Sins, my dad said, is really popular, and so is yeah. Colin McRae. What is this for? Racers? Yeah, Carlos Sins is a rally driver. A rally driver? What is a rally driver? Like, it's like F1, but like. Oh, that's not like that. oh, okay. Yeah. I've been informed we think there's a Lorette rally, and like obviously the people who won that year came and put their hands down. But I think he's coming up a lot, Colin McRae. He's come up a few times. Look at this little console. We're having a walk through the city centre now of Lorette, and look at that. That's very Barcelona esque with all the mosaics. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is very. Very gaudy. We just got back. It's like nearly three o'clock now. We actually ended up staying out a lot longer than I expected to. We went for like a really nice walk around the city centre and now we've just got back. We are gonna go to the pool, but I'm not gonna take my camera or anything. I'm getting a knock at the door, hold on. The knock at the door was in fact my dad. He's brought me some in plugs because like I said, my ears are really hurting. But we're gonna head down to the pool now. I'm not gonna take my camera because I just want to chill and I don't want to have my camera on me if I'm in and out of the pool. It is a lot later now. We have just got ready to go out for some food and then I think we may go see what the entertainment's like in the hotel tonight. I mean, I'm not really too sure if that's 100% what we're doing, but our tea slot is between half past eight and quarter to ten, so we're going to go for half past eight. I'm so excited. We had such a nice time at the pool, but the pool was freezing cold, but we just sat, we played, you know, we had a really nice time. Got back, got changed, we've got about 15 minutes so we're going out and see what happens from there. Maybe, like I said, we might go and see the entertainment in the hotel. Maybe go out for drinks, not 100% sure. But I will take you along with me, whatever we end up doing. This is what I'm wearing. I don't know if you'll really be able to see full on. I'm going quite casual. I've changed my outfit about 17 times. Just got this little top for every little thing. These Zara, they're like linen -y style pants. And then Zara shoes as well. Like I said, I'm not going too fancy. And then I've just got a little black bag as well. We're just chilling tonight. I've got like a few dresses and stuff with me, but I feel like that's really not like the vibes. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear the rest of the nights because I feel like that's just not the vibe in the hotel. I've not stayed in a hotel for so long where it's sort of like, we're staying half bored, but you know when you go for your tea and stuff, we out for tea wherever I've been. So the vibes are a little bit different. So I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna wear for the next six days. So I've been saying since we got here that there is no fish in this aquarium hotel. Lies. I have found it. Not as fancy as I thought. Pictures. No, but they're beautiful. Look at their tails. They're massive. Could do with a few more plants. It's looking a little bit sparse. Do feel quite sorry for them, actually. Oh. Oh, icky eye, icky eye, that's not good. Good morning, sorry for not vlogging too much yesterday. Basically last night was just like a chill night. At the hotel anyway, we like played cards, we watched a bit of the karaoke, played a few games of pool, and then went to bed. Like, we didn't really do loads last night, so there was not much for me to record. I think the last thing you would have seen is maybe that little aquarium thing. I don't really think I videoed anything else apart from that. But today, the plan is to go to the other castle on the other side of Lorette de Mar Beach. And then we're gonna go on the beach this morning. We're gonna go snorkeling and stuff. Not sure what's happening after that. Maybe another like chill around the pool. I might try and show you the pool later, actually. But that is the plan for the day. So we're gonna head down to breakfast now again. Just thought I'd quickly come and show you the pool. So this is the like main outdoor pool. There is another one there. I mean, it is so shut at the minute because it is so quite early. This is where we just had breakfast. And then we're on the other side. There's actually so many chairs and stuff. It's unbelievable. It's so good. This is what the pool looks like. So pretty. And then this 
of here is the indoor pool, which is a lot warmer. It's still not really warm, but it's a lot warmer. Yesterday, I went in that pool. I could physically not go in it. Like, I had to get out because it was so, so cold, even though it was really warm outside so like you know usually you get in the pool and it's real nice it cools you off it was freezing it was so so cold but this is the other pool this one's so nice it's got a bit where you sit there it's like a jacuzzi and it's got like a little waterfall -y thing here it's so nice and then there's like a kids club over there and a gym i think I haven't really explored that bit yet but this all sorts here it's brilliant you're well and truly kitted out for this holiday now that's just bought me a hat i've got a new beach towel because we've got spring mats so there's right tomorrow on it somewhere We've got nets, we're gonna go fishing. We've got lace. I feel like the day started off right today. We're heading over to this little castle at the end over there. We're at a different beach to yesterday. We actually did end up coming to this beach, but I didn't show you it. We are walking. I think we might be heading to the top. We actually don't know. We ended up getting to one bit, but it just said about an experience. So now we're walking up the side of the little mountain, seeing where we end up. I think I may have found the way up. And it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a steep ride. Uh, we walked up the stairs, <laughs> didn't lead to the castle. It is so unbelievably hot. Um, and that was like, the toughest walk of my whole entire life. What about you, Jack? That's a pain in the ass. <laughs> it was a struggle and it wasn't even really worth it. But we've just had a nice little walk back down now and we're heading to the beach. Just been in the water. It was really nice. Josh was like, oh, there's jellyfish, but they don't sting. So we've just been in here, had a lovely time. Guess who gets fucking stung? Me. I got stung. I mean, it's not that bad. It was a little stung. And it was by a tiny little jellyfish, but I can say I officially got stung by a jellyfish. I'm just in a supermarket. Look at this that I'm getting. Oh, a mango and passion fruit Capri Sun. Oh, that looks like the best thing ever. I'm trying to do a taste test, but it's proving hard work. so good but very mangoey actually we've come into mcdonald's we have got mcflurries i have got a kit kat and white chocolate one it is covered in white chocolate sauce oreo. jack's got oreo, oreo and white chocolate and look at this one it's called don donatus Dun and it's covered with little donut pieces which covered in chocolate and so much chocolate sauce i have the most annoying hiccups in the whole entire world right now so fingers crossed they go away soon. Obviously it is later on. This is my outfit. I've got the same trousers that I had on last night because we're getting an early night tonight and then this looks back on top but there's literally glitter all over. You can probably see it all over my face. There's literally glitter everywhere. But we are gonna head down to tea. So I will show you what there is at tea time because I didn't show you last night and I'm not sure what will be there tonight because it changes every single night. We've come down for tea. Let's see what there is tonight. Ooh, tagliatelle. Changes every night. What was it? What pasta was it last night? Josh, what was the pasta last night? Both eyes, yeah. Oh, is that a fish? It doesn't say it in English, God knows. This looks yum though. Let me see what else there is. What's going on over here? Just... Ooh! Interesting. We've got meatballs over here tonight. More fish. Some like breakfasty type stuff by the looks of it. So what I've gone for, so I've got the pasta with carbonara sauce and some cheese. And then this is the ham and cheese thing that Josh has just added to get some veg just to balance it out a little bit. And some nachos with guacamole. Looks yummy, looks delicious. This is Jack's little plate. Pasta mainly. Pasta and chips. And then Josh has got a mix. It's got meatballs, loads of fish, spaghetti as well. Spaghetti is so good. Oh. We've got for dessert, we've got Pineapple mousse again. I feel like I've ever done that. I've had it like three nights in a row. Dried fruit cake. What the hell is that? Oh, wine pears. Some chocolate cake over there. I mean, I've literally not been showing any of you. Chocolate cake, pineapple. So I have gone for watermelon. Melon. This random cake, don't know what that is, a wine pear. Because I'm excited to try that. And a little pot of jelly, because jelly is the best one for this. Good morning, there has been a slight change of plans. So I did say we was gonna go into Barcelona today. I'm pretty sure I said that yesterday, but we're not now. We're gonna go there tomorrow because there was loads of problems with the buses. There was like a massive gap on the way home between half five and 10 to get back. So we're gonna go tomorrow because there's a lot more buses on. We're heading down to the beach near us and then we are 
gonna go to like this little amusement complex sort of thing that's nearby just have a chill day really and then come back around the pool again this afternoon i really want to try and find a key ring as well today because we still haven't found one yet so maybe do like a little bit of shopping and stuff like that but that's the plan for today and then tomorrow me and josh are gonna head into barcelona for the day which i can't wait for josh has bought a coconut you trying it now well, it takes a bit of a t bit of a while to get into it. I'll get back to you when he's managed to get this open. Oh, right, there you go. <gasps> oh, that was easy. Anything else you need to do? Ooh, it's weird. Oh, Ooh. Have you had one of these before? I'm alright. Ooh, is it good? Is it nice? I'm alright. Ooh, me and Jack have got some lollies. I've got cherry. Jack has got watermelon. Very strong but very tasty. We have come to the other side of the beach. We're just going to have a little explore around this little section. Little little corner. This is so cute. It really is like a little private beach. This is so so cute. Wow, look how clear the water is. Is it cold? It feels cold. The water feels cold. Oh brrr. it's so hot in here. We've been for Doyle's it's so good. This is the Amusement sort of thing we're in. Well, I don't know what we're doing going up here, but there's like bumper cars over there, there's games. I don't know what we're doing up here. Oh, there's like a slide going down there. Oh, what's up here? There's pool, more bumper cars, and then down here is all the arcades. This is a better view of the amusement area. Loads of different games. We're trying to figure out where to get the cash. They're playing the basketball. Josh was playing, then Jack had to get involved. But Josh is having a bad game. He's not doing too well. Nice. Oh. 250. Yeah. yeah, that's unbelievable. Somebody's got 250 points. Jack's doing the game where you kick the ball as hard as you can. Never seen this before. Wow! That's a really good score! Josh is having a go. Go on. Ooh! Whoa! Wow! Josh is literally amazing at piano tiles on the iPad. So he's trying to beat his high score, but it's not going great for him. He's really not going great for him. I don't think he's used to playing on this. Oh, he's going to a rhythm. 54, that was better. It's because you don't have a lot of time. Look, you're the first place. Well done. Okay, genius. Hello and good morning. Sorry for not recording too much yesterday. I don't even know what the last thing I recorded actually was, but we got dressed, we went down for tea again, and then just chilled, played Uno again. Basically, we are up really early this morning. It's about half past seven at the minute and we're getting ready to go to Barcelona, me and Josh today. The reason it's just me and Josh is because, well, to be fair, my, I, mean, I don't even know if I've re actually said in this video, but I'm here with my dad, my stepmom and my brother. They just want to stay and chill around here. So we are going to head out to Barcelona for the day today. I was so exhausted last night that I thought, you know what, there's no point taking my camera down. There's not that much to show you. Like, we just had like a seafood night last night. So we had that for tea and then just played with no chilled and then got an early -ish night. This is what I'm wearing. I'll pop you down. I'll try and show you. Please ignore the state of the situation right now. I don't know if you can really, really see. You can't even really see. Just like a long white maxi dress. Oh yeah, that's the outfit. It's very early. The sun has just risen. It was literally pitch black about 10 minutes ago. And now we are going to head to Barcelona. So fingers crossed I can figure out how to get us on the bus. We have made it to Barcelona. It's a little bit windy at the minute actually. It's going to be a pretty windy day. We've got some breakfast. I got a chocolate croissant. Josh got what's in there? Oh, it's like a cheese, like brie. Spinach and tomatoes. Oh, interesting. Then I got an orange juice, and Josh has got an ice latte coming. Cannot wait to eat this. Isn't that massive? I wonder if it's got chocolate in the middle. Let me open it. Oh my gosh, it does. It has chocolate all over, and it's really nice and crumbly. Mm, yum. This is the Cafe Louis. It's called Bra Cafe and it has been here since 1929, so it's pretty old. We've come to see the Lac de Triomphe. Josh is taking a picture of this beautiful statue. Josh said when he came, there was some sort of festival thing on. Uh, so, uh, not a festival. 
it was like something happened. Something, some sort of events happening. So he couldn't actually walk underneath the Act of Triumph, so that's what we're doing right now. Aww. It was a bit complicated and a bit hectic, and there was, um, I think I told you about it, there was these real loud bangs, and everyone like <gasps> Oh, yeah! And it was just this kid with like a baseball bat against him. Like, I remember that. Yeah, I remember you telling me that now. We've come to the other side now. The lovely little lamppost Gaudi did. Love these lampers, so many different ones that they're so beautiful. The other side of the Arch Trio, and we're gonna walk to a pack that I've been to before. What did you say this was, or do you not know? You just wanted to see what it was. No, I just saw it on the way down. Just put it in on Google Maps. It is a government building, absolutely beautiful government building. This is so cute, there's like a little dance class going on. Oh. Oh my hat can't take this, that is so adorable. <gasps> Josh is adamant about the fact that I've never seen this before, but I'm pretty sure I recorded it in my last vlog that I did when I came here last year. But this is just breathtaking every single time. And for some reason, the water looks literally like a bright green. It's so green today. Just today? Is it usually real clear when you come? <sighs> You know what I mean though, I don't remember it being this green last time. We're working our way up to the top, look at this. <gasps> wow. I always think when you sit underneath something, it shows how big it is. We made it to the top. This is so beautiful. What's down here? A little bit more of the park. We keep seeing little, what are they called? Parakeets. We keep seeing them, they're so cute. I'll try and show you one if I can. Cutest little things ever and making all the noise. It's like a church building over there, absolutely stunning. That That is a Sagrada Familia, you think? Oh, do you mean right over there? The tip there? Yeah, yeah can I say we've literally just been to that building? Yeah, I think it might be the tip of the Sagrada Familia. Let me check, let me have a look on that. Oh, there's a couple there that I've just got married as well. I don't think it can be the Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia is in a different direction. Must just be another beautiful building. About to try and go on a boat on the middle of the lake. Oh, I'm so excited, we didn't think there was anybody on it, but then we found somebody on it, so we think we're gonna be able to go on now. There's a beautiful heron. Oh, that is a big one. Wow. <gasps> where, where, where? Oh, parakeets! Six others just fall off as well. There's so many. Oh, they're adorable. I love them. We're doing it. Josh is in charge of Rowan. Oh, I think he's getting more the hang of it. It was because I was stuck between my fun. Yeah, he was. He was trying to do it in between all of the birds. But we're in the lake. Josh is heading straight towards the heron. Straight towards the heron. Oh my god. The seagull's got a little shrimp in his mouth. Oh, oh, the whole thing! It's not that easy actually, is it? How do I turn? You just got, yeah, that's it. Well, I'm such a this already. Too far. Ah. We'll get there when we get there, alright? <laughs> I can't do both hands at once, ah. That was honestly so, so much fun. We've come back to where we've just been, but now there's like a guy blowing bubbles. It's picked up so much, there's so many people dancing. This is so lovely. I can't believe how amazing this is. It's just so full of life, it's brilliant. Then we thought we'd have a nice little walk down the Gothic quarter part. So we're just coming for a little wander now. I have been here before, but I don't know if I went to this square. Did you not come to the Gothic quarter? No, I don't think so. I don't see that either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I walked past all this, but. I feel like I walked the other side of it because I don't remember seeing this little square. Oh, there's someone playing piano. Look at that building. Oh, that's a gorgeous building. Also, guys, it is pretty hot. Considering it's meant to like really windy and cloudy, it's pretty warm today. I'm just sweating. We have come to the other, well, it's a bit of a way from where we've been. It's like sort of near the other side. Come to park well we're just walking down now and i'm actually really proud of myself because we had to get on the metro and if you watched last year's barcelona vlog you know i fainted in the metro last year 
to it. It's a bit of an irrational fear of mine, but I did it. And we're here, and we're gonna walk up now. I don't know how far away it is, like if it's really uphill or whatever, but we're gonna head there now, so I will show you when we get there. That walk was very hard. It was just, I'm just so hot. But we've come up, we're a little bit early. And we've seen this little church right in the distance here. So we're at like the entrance to Pipe Wells there. And this is the church. I've had a look at my maps and I can't figure out what it is. She has managed to figure it out. So that's Tibby Darbo. So that's where you can see like the Ferris wheel and stuff. And that's the church. What did you say it's called? Church of? Um, Temple of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Wow, it's beautiful. Just went a little bit early. We decided to come for a walk. Josh has taken us up the side of a cliff. Tibby Darbo things over there. And look, we've come all the way from down there. So I'm absolutely dripping with sweat. But we're just like wandering up a little Spanish hill. We are in, the hair has gone back because it is so hot. But look at this beautiful view. Beautiful. There's that hotel over there, that famous, is it a hotel or just like famous bar where everyone goes to have drinks? Um, and then the Sagrada Familia is in that direction. So we're gonna head and see if we can see that. Or just a little butterfly down here and then look. Look at that, that is perfect, that view, isn't it? It's almost as if you've done it on purpose, isn't it? Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. And that's the first we've seen it today. We have made it, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is Gaudi's apartment. apartment. But we've made it absolutely apartment. beautiful, I know. Chelsea's, yeah, Chelsea was found Wow, interesting. <laughs> See it. Why am I holding my camera like this actually? Look at that! Look like they're about to come flying down. That's insane that they're like that. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. I can't remember if I came into this bit. And then look at this, this big branch. Have you seen that? Yeah, a tree stump, I mean, sorry. And it's grown out of there for the summer. Wow! We made it to the main park <laughs> where everyone's standing to get a picture. Absolutely beautiful. Let me get a quick picky. Do you think that one there looks like a proper gingerbread house? Yeah. And well, to be fair, both of them do, but they just look like little gingerbread houses. They're so cute. This is it properly. Just in the big middle square with all the mosaic seats. So gorgeous. But we just had this American girl and her boyfriend saying that it's proper underwhelming and proper moaning about it. And I actually don't think that well could be. It's like the worst place she's ever been. Yeah, she was like, this is awful. And I was like, I actually can't. I comprehend that because it's such a beautiful place. I think people have different interests, but to say it's awful, it was absolutely insane. Because she actually said this is the worst place I've ever been. Where else has she been? <laughs> if this is the worst place she's ever been. There he is, little lizard. Oh How beautiful is this? It just takes my breath away. And I honestly think it's one of those things. No matter how many times you see it. I still can't believe, I mean, I, I say it no matter how many times I've seen it twice, it's the second time, but it's still, it, it's just like seeing it again for the first time. Brought Josh into my favourite shop from last time. I love this shop so much. It's just filled with mosaic. Oh, so brilliant, I love it. Look at this. Wow, isn't it beautiful? That is gorgeous. I didn't realise, or maybe I did at the time, but I forgot that it had like little fruit on it. Huh? Little bits oh, yeah. of fruit, like grape. Can't really tell what else there is. Grapes, grapes. There is something else, but I can't figure out what grapes. it is. <laughs> They've come into the FC Barcelona shop. Four Champions Leagues in four years. Four cha Wow, consecutively as well, wow. Yo, 1992 there. Dream Team. We've come round to the other side. I was going to say the front side, but I don't know which side actually is classed as the front. And then this is the little lake bit. I love this bit, I think it's beautiful. And we're gonna head towards the Casa Battle now. We're coming to a place called Oasis. Josh came here when he came with his friends. It's like a pizza place. And you can see the pizza all being freshly made. What did you say you'd ordered for us, Joshua? Oh, it's here. Oh my god, how good does that look? That looks insane. Wow. And then we've also got hummus and boppadons. And what was the other thing? Sweet potato fries. How good do those fries look? That actually looks. Not like I would absolutely love it, but it's okay. It's okay because the fries are here, they're on my side, and I'll try it. I 
here on the next I don't think I'll put on this But I'm gonna give it a go Food is really really good, kind of greasy there Which is a tiny bit of a let down But all in all really good We've come to see the Casa Batlu We've both seen this before We were just saying this is literally busier than the Sagrada Familia And look how beautiful that building is like all the buildings are just as beautiful. This is brilliant, I won't lie, but it is crazy, crazy how busy it is. Now going for a walk right where our hotels were, because it was actually a five minute walk between the hotel that I stayed in last year and the hotel Josh stayed in last year, because he came to Barcelona with his friends. And this was my hotel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this was my hotel, yeah. It's called the H10 Metropolitan. It was a really, really nice hotel. Oh, nice. cute! It was such a nice hotel. And a couple of minutes later, this is Josh's old hotel. And you said it was, oh, it was a four star as well. Me and Jimmy, Mac. Oh, wow, yeah. Lovely. Oh, it looks lovely. We're going for a walk down the Ramblers now. We want to go for a little wander on the harbour. We're going to go down here and then maybe pop into the little market if it's still open. And then we go to the harbour and then we need to get back to the bus to go back to Lorette because it's six o'clock now and our bus, our bus is until quarter to eight, but it's quite away from where we are right now. So we need to get a move on. It's a Sunday, so the market's shut, but Josh didn't do this last time, so I said I'd bring him here. So, you can take a quick picture of it, little famous market, and back to the Ramblers we go. Come for a little wander on the marina, Josh is getting a little bit too close for my liking. And look at this little boat over here. I mean, I'm going to go closer to it, I'll show you a better view of it, but I've not seen this the last time I was here. Look at this! I ain't seen this before, this is such a cute boat. Wow, it's like a pirate ship! I am looking an absolute mess. Look at the marks that I have on my sunglasses. It is late now, we are about to get just one final drink and come to a little bar. The bus station's just there and I am exhausted. Look how many steps I've done. All those steps, I am done in. I cannot wait to get on that bus and just chill for an hour. Good morning, so Barcelona was so, so good yesterday. We had the best day. We got back last night chilled at a couple of drinks we actually played bingo it was so much fun and we actually won but this little boy thought he got bingo so he went up didn't have bingo so that was so sad so after that we was on a mission to like try and win bingo for this little boy anyway we did so my dad won it and he went and gave the ticket to the little boy so the little boy could go up and get the prize it was really really good it was really good fun then we just played like a couple of games of uno and went to bed so that was yesterday and now we are getting up we're gonna go to the botanical gardens which is like 15 minutes away that's what the plan is for this morning and then maybe do the beach this afternoon the gardens of the dragon Interesting. This was what it's called. Harines de Santa Claudiel. If I said that right. I just said the writing down there for the House of the Dragons is similar to Game of Thrones. So you looked it up and it's House of the Dragons, the sequel. It's all set in these gardens. That's so cool. I feel like I need to watch it now. I have a map. It's a bit hard to show you because I'm holding it with one hand, but we have a map. I love a map. So, as I've seen about the House of Dragons, it shows you here where all the scenes are. Yeah, real good. And where it was all filmed. Tiny little beach over there, which we haven't been to yet. We might go at some point, but yeah, it's a tiny, tiny little one just on the coast line. How cute is this with the mermaids? That is so sweet. And there's another one right up there. And we're in like this little square. So, so sweet. And there's loads of statues, lots of statue heads. Right the Bit which is like maybe dedicated to the house of the dragons little dragon eggs apparently and then the beach is just over there yeah let's watch game of thrones now it's the only option and look at this i love a water fountain <gasps> this bit's beautiful and this is private i'd love to know what's that gorgeous imagine waking up to this every single morning hello so obviously it is a lot later now but the day's been so so good had such a lovely day today just got back got ready gonna go for some tea now and i'm pretty sure tonight is like there's like a magician that's meant to be on so i will try and get some videos of that we're staying in la we hope it's either gonna be really really tacky or like actually good because that half like way in between is just gonna be a bit awkward so we will see the magicians on we're thinking it's a silent magician now oh that's right a real dog i love a bit of magic because it's so cool <gasps> it's 
cocktail night tonight. Dosh got pina colada, that's his favourite. I've got cosmopolitan, which I've never tried before. I've never had a cosmopolitan. Oh, that's so nice. Let's try it. So yum. So he has a rabbit on the stage. A rabbit? Oh, I want to take it over with me. She's got the rabbit back up. She's got the rabbit back out. Stop it. Oh, uh, it's in the bin. <laughs> what is happening? What? What is happening? <laughs> oh my god. He would literally be dead. Oh, he's on the floor. He's on the floor. She's just killed him, man. What is going on? Look at that. Hello everyone, so we spent the morning at the beach this morning, it was so lovely. Got back, got changed, it's very very sunny, I put some sunglasses on but we are heading into the town centre, we are going to go get some nice tapas and look for some like earrings and stuff because we go home tomorrow so we just want to get like the last few little bits sorted, I literally cannot see a thing, I don't know why I came out here and didn't put sunglasses on. That is what the plan is for this afternoon and then we're going to go around the pool again. Where was that? We're in a place called... What's that like? It's the most beautiful building I've Yeah, this is. Oh, we haven't been to that one, have we? It's all part it's like of the a little, thing, Is it? it? Concert hall that I showed you the other day. We are getting Tatas Bravas, mozzarella sticks, shrimp, um, guacamole, some fries, and a ham pizza. And we're all just going to share it. So I'll show you it when it comes. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And I've got a cocktail coming too. This is the cocktail. It's got vodka, blue caracal, orange, and pineapple juice. Oh, delicious. Look at these. These look so good. Look at just this pina colada. It's got desiccated coconut in it. Do you like, yeah. we like desiccated coconut. Like it. Can I try it? Well, it's really nice how I'm trying, man. Stitch the size off my head. Oh my god, so the dishes have come out. This is beef nachos. That is potatoes bravas, but that is absolutely ginormous considering it's tap out. We've got fries. We've got shrimp. I forgot we've still got pizza coming. Mozzarella sticks there. Pizza. Yeah. Look how good that looks. The bits of ham are massive. Mm. So she's got a vanilla milkshake. Trying it. Direct on my spoon. Mm. They're good. It looks perfect. good. It's me and Jack sharing this wow. Tinder. Mm. <laughs> looks good. He was ready to walk off. What, what actually was the flavours then? What, um, that tastes quite hazelnutty. Did you enjoy lunch? Yeah. It was delicious. We have come into the little concert hall opposite and it's actually a little cathedral as well. Oh god, just had no idea, it just says it's a concert hall. The shop we've come into, it's literally got full blown waterfall going on in here. <gasps> Is there any fish in here? Oh, I don't think so. Look at it, it's a massive, massive shop. We've come into a little sweet shop and we're gonna get some little sweets to take back to the pool with us. We're back, we're about to get in the pool, but look what Josh bought. <laughs> Oh my god, this boy, honestly. What the hell? That's so funny. And then I got one that just says, I love Lorette de Mar. Mine's a lot more tame. I have my <laughs> Red de Mar t shirt on. I just thought I'd do a little haul before we went out. So, got some sweeties in the sweet shop. Um, I got this one, Mum. It's got like creme brulee and stuff in it. My brother's here, if you can hear himself in the background. Hello. Like creme brulee nugget. I thought it looked cute. Got that for my mum. 
And then I got myself this little bowl. So cute. I'm gonna make like a little acai ones. Yeah, a little coconut bowl. Look at that. Look at the inside. Nice. Reminds me of Barcelona. We got this. Because we've been playing Uno the whole time we've been here. So we've got dos, which sounds very, very, very confusing. And we've got earrings, so these are Josh's. Espana, Spain one, and another Ectomar one. Mm. Don't know where mine have disappeared to. Oh, I got these for my mum, some like little nail file things. Don't know what to get her from this holiday. Got a little keyring, so there's the Ectomar on it. I got um, just some little anklets. Got this one, a few little anklets. I got this one on now, actually. And that was our little shopping trip in the city centre. So now we're going to go back down to the pool for a couple of hours because we only have a couple of hours until it shuts and we obviously won't have time tomorrow because we go to the airport. We have to set off to the airport at 20 to 7 in the morning. So we're going to go make the most of the time in the pool now. Hello, it is the next morning. We are about to board our plane. There it is. I'm just sat on flight radar watching all the flights coming. Honestly, if you've not used this app before, it's the best. We've got one from Paris. Meant to be coming down in like a minute. So we're gonna win. Watch this, get on the plane and go home.